Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are doing a deck donation submission from Justice, otherwise known as Rob, and we are uh, going to play this Esper Fae List, which is super interesting. We have four Serum Vision, three Path, two... Oh, God, it's doing it. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, we did it. Oh, no, we didn't. Just kidding. Just kidding. Ju oh, God. It's all happening. Sword of Feast and Famine. If you just watched the previous draft, you will know that this is card is triggering me right now. Uh, two Fatal Push, two Inquisition, three Inquisition, and two Thoughtseize. Lots of one drops, which I'm loving. Four Stone Forge, three Fae of Wishes, which we wish are just three Fae of Wishes, which is pretty sweet. Um, my initial concern for Fae of Wishes right now uh, is that it might mirror our experience with Mastermind's acquisition. Mastermind's acquisition is that what it's called? The four mana tutor spell, because this is kind of it's still just a four mana sorcery. In modern which is kind of slow but if you're just playing it as a two drop to throw a sword onto that's actually pretty decent but then it might die to fatal push so these are my concerns uh drown in the lock is pretty sweet i'm a fan of this card hopefully we can get our graveyards filled quick enough but modern is also a format with fetch lands uh three snaps which are great with all the one drops one geist of saint traft three teferi which is i mean it's just teferi two esper charms which i actually love uh, Teferi does let you cast an instant speed, that's true. So you can plus Teferi and then, you know, keep keep your man up, then just cast Fae of Wishes to find any number of these one ofs. Uh, Engineer Explosives, Knowledge Pool. We're getting, we're going deep here. Uh, Pithing Needle, Unmoored Ego, two Ashiok, uh, one Kaya's Guile, two Collective Brutality, one Noxious Grasp, one Supreme Verdict to, to go with the one Supreme Verdict in the main deck. Also two Cryptic Command, which I love. Two Mystical Dispute, which are great, one Surgical. Uh, and one Celestial Purge. Two Esper Charms. That's what I was talking about. These are exciting. I love this card. Uh, Sword of Feast and Famine. Batter Skull being your targets. And uh, I just want to play this deck and see how it does. So, you know, we like the Pixel one the best? Yeah. That's also the most expensive one. Of course it is. How much? It's about 550 per... Oh, that's not bad. I mean, for a foil sweet card? No, it's not No, bad. that's... I would have expected like 20 bucks. Yeah, I was surprised. Are you still surprised? Hey, man. Yes, Michael. You know Lauren Ponders? Lauren Ponders? Lorwyn Ponders. Lorwyn Ponders? Yeah. What do you think the foil of that card's worth? Fucking like 60 bucks, I would say. It's $100. That's ridiculous. Yep. That's ridiculous. At least last time I checked, that wasn't a lot. Well, we can't... We can... We can hmm. Fish mm. boobs are weird. <laughs> <laughs> I went to college with Lauren Ponders. I'm definitely keeping this hand. We're playing against a level 99 Pichu. Oh, we're dead. That's pretty rough. Look at that. That all looks. I that mean, I think sick. it's because it's like a, a pixelated card on a magic on a magic card, you know. So it's like. Also, it's got like this really like. Uh, they're all they're all trippy. Trippy and. Uh, trippy, trippy. What's that kind of music? Whether you are like that. I'm trying to think. Metal. No. Uh. Folk. Folk, folk music? No. Hmm. Vaporwave. It's got a very vaporwave aesthetic. So do we serum on one or do we just serum an Inquisition on two? That's the question. I think we can just wait. Because we're going to have a second land. Uh, if we serum on two, we can make sure we hit a third land, which is good for this guy. There's no reason to take two here. Chip tunes. <laughs> oh, look at this guy. They're naked booby merfolk, though. Well, actually, it is wearing a shirt, so... Wow, look at Just this guy. Clear. He's going to get you. He, I think he is going to get me. He's going to get you. Oh, that's pretty good. All right, so let's see what you have before we serum vision. A question for Mutual Mutual. If you could bring back any historical person back to life, why haven't you done so already? The world <laughs> needs this technology. <laughs> <laughs> what are you waiting for, Michael, you selfish son of a biscuit? Uh, The inventor's... God. Oh, God. Stone Forge is kind of a problem. Well, they don't. It's going to go bonkers. They don't have any other lands. Whatever. I'll take the Ceram. I think you're right. The Ceram is the most dangerous card. That's not the color we're looking for. The most dangerous card. Land. Give me a land and then put another land on top. And I'll just Supreme Verdict my, my life away here. Okay. No. Oh, Field of Ruin. Oh, I don't know if I like Field of Ruin here. The problem is because the stupid Serum Vision is just the worst of its type. <laughs> We drew the stone for us. I'd rather draw either one of these so the next turn I can go land Inquisition. Um, I think we still want... The, we definitely want the land. I think we can go snap 
field of ruin next turn. So many stone forges. What's chip tunes? Is that a joke? Is that a thing? What's a chip tune? It's a kind of music. Yes, clearly that was my that was my impression as well from the context clues. What do you want me to act it out? Yeah, kind of. I can't. I'm not skilled enough. Well, that's sad. All right, so we know they have Stone Forge and Inventor's Goggles, which might, which means they actually have Inventor's Goggles and Batter Skull. Is my guess. It's like think of Mega Man music. That's a good description. So it's like eight bit music. Yeah. Interesting. Why is it called Chip Tunes? Why don't they just call it eight bit? Gonna get high and sleep. Nose strips. Have a good night, buddy. Don't forget your nose strips when you go to sleep. Oh, I didn't know Stoneforge was an artificer. What a time to be alive, man. That's wild. Hey, what? This is a core artificer. I didn't know that either. I love that art, though, on that one. Do you? Yeah. Well, good. maybe if you love it enough, you... What the fuck? That is not what I was expecting. I think there might be a combo with that Now card. I'm just gonna take it. You want to see me take it, Michael? I'm just gonna steal. Because you use a microchip to, to make tunes. Sound chips? What the hell's a sound chip? Chocolate chips? Uh, let's get these claws out of here. You worked so hard to get them. They work hard for their money. You know what? They never get treated right. Sun chips are loud. Are they sound chips? Because you eat chips while you listen to it. Gotta get them kettle corn jalapeno chips out, Moochel. That's true. You can't listen to it without... Alright, they have no cards in hand. But they're gonna attack us for six. I'm pretty sure I'm just chumping here. And actually, if we don't chump now, we can Teferi bounce this guy, and then we still have a blocker for this. So that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna take six here. Worst case scenario, we draw a land and we wipe the board. Okay. Serum Vision's like, if this was if this was Ponder or Preordain, I would just cast it and then we'd have a Teferi. Yeah, those cards are insanely better than Serum Vision's. But now we're just going to play Teferi. Bounce this and... Ugh, fuck, another Serum Vision? Ah, oh, God. There's a reason why Serum Vision isn't played in Legacy or Vintage. Oh, I know. It's just like, it's, it's funny because when you play with Serum Visions, you realize how much worse it is compared to those... It was the same thing in Q when I played it recently in Q. I was like, oh, wow, this is just worse. It is. It's totally a necessary evil. Like, it's good enough to play, but when you compare it to the other options in other formats, you're like, wow, this is... They really... They were really scraping the bottom of the barrel here. Oh, come on, really? You're just going to top take a Captain's Clause with three mana? Come on. How? How do they... How does this happen? I guess this is my life now. Captain's Clause dot deck. I mean, you both have to go at Teferi. Unless you're an absolute, absolute maniac. And then we can't, we don't have to block after that, which is nice. But it can set up your next two draws. That's so much better than Brainstorm, which leaves you stuck with two cards on top. Oh, you're I both going face? That's troll. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so we could instant speed wrath. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's like definitely what we're what we're hoping for here. I'm not actually going to attack because I want them to commit their gentlemen here. Commit your gentlemen. No, they're not going to. Yeah, we're still just going to block here. We'll take one, two, I guess. And we're just going to hope that they're not like playing lightning helix, I guess. Because otherwise, what's the what's the alternative? Like they just play, they play the fat stone.
What's that dude's name? Stoneforge? Stone, not Stoneforge. Uh, what's that? Toolcraft Exemplar. That's what that dude's name is. I mean, if they, it seems silly not to play around the... I mean, they're playing red. They probably have burn. And you have no way to gain life right now. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna wrath here. Yeah, because the problem is they just get to play toolcraft exemplar post combat, and then equip claws, and then like we, they still have multiple creatures. Like we want to go to the next turn with no creatures. And we can play double stoneforge, block their one one, block their toolcraft exemplar, I guess. But if they have like multiple guys, I don't know. I, it's I, it's 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 not an easy situation, I don't think so. Okay, you're gonna say something. Here comes Stony. Oh, just another Stoneforge Mystic. Yep, that seems good. Oh, so they have two creatures they can play. Yeah, see, that was my concern. Whereas if we just took the three, um, or if we took the, took the two more, we'd go to three. But then, like, they, they would either play their guys and they could get them all killed, or we would go to our turn with them having nothing on board. And so then we'd have, like, time to play both Stoneforges. Whereas now we're probably going to have to block both of their creatures. And, yeah. Sliver Underlord, have a good night, buddy. Appreciate the support, my dude. Yep, play your other dude. You're playing an interesting deck. I mean, it's cool. I like Captain's Claws. Every time I say Captain's Claws, I want to say Captain's Log. Oh, what? They didn't... Oh, they didn't play the other guy. Wow. Oh, that's wild. That'd be wild. Yeah, now we're just playing Double Stoneforge. How do they have two cards? Do they draw some? Oh, did they? Well, they searched off Stoneforge. Right, but where is it? In their hand. It would be revealed here. I don't know. Oh, was it a second captain's clause? Did I miss it? What did they... Huh. Yeah, I'm just playing both of these. I can't see a situation where... Uh, we can't bounce. We just put Tefri up to three. We already used his juice this turn. Did I get you with that? No. Okay. I felt a little, a little, a little liquid come out of the side there. The seal, uh, hey, the like seal. Larry was, David drooling on me. The seal wasn't good enough. Hey man, Larry David got drooled on first. <laughs> That's true. I mean, I feel like if we get to play Batter Skull, we're in pretty good shape. Yeah. I feel like letting this Tefri live is not the best. Yeah, the only reason Mike and I are sitting this close is because we haven't left the house in oh good, we haven't left the house in like four weeks other than like going also to a drive-through. Very, very careful. Washing my hands every day. Every day I wash my hands. Oh, they just have another inventor's goggle, so they're gonna draw a card off that. I would like another. You know, you know those things. What are the things called? The uh, uh, the ones that wipe the the whole thing. A wrath. That's the one. A rat of God. Ask the ticket. So I think we just bounce the Saram here. We can bounce Saram, play Fey, put in Bodyguard, block with the Fey of Wishes. 
Yeah, let's get this dude out of here. Oh, path is nice. Oh, that changes everything. Just draw. So, yeah. So we can serum visions here. Uh, Colonnade actually seems much better than Hollow Fountain here. Oh, we don't get to play it, though, because, again, it's Serum Visions, and it sucks. <laughs> so, God, Serum Visions, you're making me so sad with, like... So, no. We're going to keep up Batter Skull Path mana. It's weird, because, like... I think that the combo decks are less prevalent in modern now. I think, actually... Prevalent? Relevant. <laughs> prevalent. I think you meant prevalent. Prevalent, yes. Um, prevalent? I think, I think Serum Visions are, uh, like... Preordain and, like... Pretty fine, yeah. It's scary, though. We actually could have done this post combat so we'd have a block with the batter skull to gain the four life. But to enhance my social conditioning, I bought a sauna. I sit in there for an hour and don't wear deodorant. The situation resolves itself. Wow. Shram. That's not how you spell that. Shram. I think preordain is safer than ponder. I don't know. It's arguable that I don't know actually which one's better. Ponder and preordain are both very very good. I mean, we get to untap, go sort of feasted famine on our guy. I don't know how big this is going to be, though. That's the problem. I think priority would be fine. Yikes. Then they'd have to ban island. Is that what you want, Michael? You want them to ban islands? No. We can just keep bouncing it forever. It's true, but I don't like... I don't... What a deck this is. What a what a wild what a wild west world this is. Four eight, huh? That's something. That is something. This is a sweet Voltron deck. And we got a colony on top too. I'm only almost regretting that. Okay. You got it. Alright, just auto yield to this. I don't care about this anymore. <laughs> Doesn't care about you either. That's fine. I don't need it to care about me. Damn. I think it's stupid. Man, Stoneforge Mystic and Modern. What's time to be alive? Thank you. Carter J, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome, my dude. Welcome, welcome. All right, so we can make this a 6-6, six, six, which is actually not bad. But then they could they can't even double block. Oh, when we get to untap our mana and have a blocker? Well, that's actually pretty good. Make sure you play your call, Nid. Don't tell me what to do. I mean, I feel like they're just going to jump here, but... Giving us six extra life is pretty good. Did you ever play? Did you ever play? I'm literally playing a user submitted deck right now. Schmurkane, you can check my check my Twitch profile. Uh, I do it. I do go over it down below. But um, the default for decks is like fifty bucks because I play them for two hours. I got to get the cards. Um, I, you know, it goes on YouTube and stuff. I give you feedback, but like, if that's too much, like I'm always willing to like help people. Out. Oh, they're just going to let it, res it's just getting through. Oh, wow, dude. Yeah. The turns have tabled. Oh man. Good gravy. Stoneforge is kind of a blank here. One, two three definitely bouncing the exemplar here I don't want them to get another artifact <laughs> wow this is going well for us I think I think it's just SRAM here yeah that'll give them card advantage you don't want that So now they have Greaves Toolcraft Exemplar. 
I don't think we're playing this as a man. No, you might as well visions. Yeah, I guess so. Play it as a man. Oh, Geist of St. Traft. Oh, Drown of the Lock seems great here. Thank you. I want to put you on the bottom. I'll keep the Drown. Oh, the chump block. Thank you so much. Oh, 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 it's super fritz with the gifted subs. Because of course, because of course. Thanks. Visions top deck, Pat. That would be, I think you're expecting someone with much different luck than me, Rob. Much different luck than me. Thank you. Thank I feel like we, this, this. Uh, boy, really turn this corner. Super Fritz, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate you, buddy. Subs are your business. That's hilarious. That's, uh, that's a funny thing you said there. I mean, the best thing, in, thing they can draw is, like, Path. And even then, we still get the block. I don't think that's great. even that good. Yeah, it's not. I don't even know if they're running Path. One, two, three, four... Yep. All right, four eight. This makes you five, so we can still block it. Oh yeah, they don't have any profitable attacks here. Actually, that's pretty comical. Yep, five five eight. Yeah, I'll gain six more. Okay, that's your draw. So you have we know you have Greaves and Toolcraft Exemplar. Okay, so you're probably gonna play Greaves here because. There's no reason to put that in play untapped. And then you equip, which is also fine. So now you're just playing defense. Okay. I'm, I'm game. Super Fritz is the hero we need. Yeah, let's plus this gentleman. I ain't never seen that... Gee start. Gee start? Mm -hmm. That's the promo version. Um, yeah, we're probably definitely keeping up Faye and Drown in the Lock here, right? Like, we just attack for six here for the free life. Sure. What? No, that's not what you're doing. <laughs> that's... There you go. Get your block on. <coughs> Sounds good. Man, this is this has turned out quite well. Engineer explosives for two. That kills like everything they care about, right? Even for one is actually very very good. Yeah, one it might even be better, especially after they play their exemplar. Oh man, I'm liking this. This is a sweet position. I owe this stream for my sanity some days. A few subs in the least. Dude, Super Fritz, your support is... I super appreciate... What happened to your phone, buddy? Did you ever get your phone back? Did you find it? Did you have to get a new phone? What's the verdict here? Tell me about your telephone woes. Come at me, bro. I'll go to 21. Oh man, this is wild. Look at us. We're we're casting we're casting demonic tutor at the end of their turn. Shoot. Use the ability? Yeah, you know I will use the ability that I literally just paid for. Uh Yeah. You know, that seems good for me. Oh, look at that. All the, Oh, it's going to be colored, right? I don't want to like Yeah. I'm going to be able to play engineer explosives for one with no colors. X is currently one done one and done that's what I always say pop it bloop 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 yep somebody set us up the bomb get in there oh we should have played Geist first should have played anything first really you know what? Yield to that. I'm not gonna. Oh, we just win the game. They didn't care. They were like, you know what? I'm out. 
Fucking stack do be sweet. I kind of want the engineer explosives in the main, but I really don't because then we can't search for it. And right now we have three engineer explosives in the main deck. Yeah, it seems bad. I'm going to head out, though. <laughs> I'm going to head out, though. All right, bro. Go get some sleep. It was insured, so 100 bucks later, and they basically overnight... Sh oh, that's awesome, dude. Oh, that's great. That's infinitely better than I was expecting. I was like, oh, God, I hope Super First doesn't have to pay, like, $700 to $1,000 for a brand new phone. I don't want to board anything in because I just feel like... Because they're just all search targets, right? So it's like... But then again, like, you know, the, the case can be made that, like, you're not going to have the time to search for... Oh, no, it's doing this. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Magic Online. You wacky, wacky. He just left his chair in here like a fucking maniac. Look at him. Would you like me to move it? <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. You can just pull the, pull the curtain. Here, I'll just... I can get it. You're good. Right. I'm just going to pull the curtain over it. And the, oh, wait. Oh, no. It has to fix the other side now. I'll fix it for you. Thank you. Oh, actually, I think it's good. Hold on. Let me check. Yeah, we're good. We're good. It's totally good like this. Good? Yeah, yeah, it's good. I'm going to keep this hand because we get Thoughtseize and Inquisition here. No, back. Hey, hey, back. All right, we're doing this. It's happening. White Source? Because we're the best around. And nothing's going to ever keep you down. Stoneforge SRAM. No second land, though. I think Stoneforge is actually worse, and then we can just take SRAM next turn. If they draw a land, they get to go either... I'm going to take Apprentice, huh? Interesting. I'm just not super... Like, we have Path to deal with the Apprentice. I just don't think it's that big of a deal. Where These two are both very, very good. And SRAM takes a turn to get, get going anyway. Like, this gives us immediate card advantage. Whereas SRAM, like, they have to play it and then play something in the next turn, which we can Path in response. So I'm not really super concerned with that. I'm just going to take the Stoneforge here. It's the only card they can play, but I'm not going to assume that they don't hit lands here, you know? Like, if they want to just go Inventor's Apprentice, I mean, that's fine. Like, because next turn we get to go Path and, and Thoughtseize, so. Can you, Magic Online, how do I get rid of this? I'll put the cards up here. In the, there we go, that's perfect. Yeah, they didn't even get to attack. Did this thing, I thought this guy got haste. Oh, wow. Galatia Fortress was an amazing draw there. All right. So we got four cards. Going to get rid of all of these. Uh, the ghost thing is over here now. I don't know what you're talking about. Stoneforge Masterwork. Which other creature controls? Oh, so it's just artificers? Shadow Spear 2? Oh, jeez. I mean, we're just going to take SRAM and keep them off creatures, ideally. If you want to play those cards, you need to control all F4. Wow. For some reason, I feel like you're just not being truthful. Super Fritz, yes, we are definitely doing yours. I actually have to get a haircut tomorrow at 3. And the haircut, the haircut place is being very safe. Uh, they're only letting like one person in at a time. You text them when you're in the parking lot. Then they let you in. Everything is sanitized. Um, obviously, I'm wearing going to be wearing gloves. Like, it's just not... A, I just need to get a haircut because I feel like I'm a hot mess, dude. But, um... I don't want to actually give them land. But we can't do anything for a while. Shave your head. That's what I do. But my haircut's at three. So, like, we'll probably... I'm probably actually just going to stream when I get back. So, around four. And we'll just... Me and Michael just do a night stream. If that's cool with you, Super Fritz. I think I, should, I think if we can just conserve our life total. as Until we can get this batter skull down. We're okay. Yeah, I'm, all, I'm already good to go. Like, I can just walk in like this. So. I also haven't had a haircut in, like, two and a half months. And that is way more than I'm used to. And I'm just like, oh, that seems good. Um, let's play Field of Ruin here because we don't want to take more damage than we have to. And I would rather get a, f a shocky boy. 
Um, yeah, we're just going to plus here. We can get more value if they play a creature and equip it. None of these things give haste. So that's what I'm mostly concerned. I guess we're just going to slam a batter skull at some point. Yep. Give me a Fae of Wishes right now. That'd be such good. Such goodness. Aren't all your streams? I mean, they have been more recently, yeah. I've definitely been like... It's been hard to get in the groove since... Oh, that's that's a thing, I guess. I kind of want to bounce Captain's Claws and then try to rip it out because we know this is one of their cards. I really don't appreciate MCGO having Ghosts of Cards passed as a new feature. Uh, Yeah, I like I like what you're saying right now. I like what you're saying right now. We're going to play this. Oh, we can't do it in, in there. Uh, see, we're going to have to do it now because we can't do both, unfortunately. Um, Colossus Hammer? How do they ever equip that? What's the trick with that? I understand you may attach the goggles to it. Two Captain's Claws is pretty rough. I guess we'll just take a Captain's Claws. I don't know. Sigarda's Aid? Oh, that seems cute. You guys are going to be like, this is actually a MTG Goldfish deck list. I'm going to be like, of course it is. Captain's Log. Yep. So, we know of... Okay, Masterwork's gone. What's the last card? Colossus Hammer? Oh, I think the Stoneforge Masterwork was the same, so... We know they have Colossus Hammer in hand. I think we're just getting a uh, Godless Shrine here because that gives us two of every color. No. While we can do this during their turn, I think I'd rather do it during our turn because it lets us potentially hit something. That is not what we wanted, but we do have another land now for Batter Skull. I mean, as long as they don't hit any creatures, like, I think we just have so much more time than they do, especially with Double Path. I don't actually want to crack this because you just put two lands on the bottom, but I also don't want to not have a land, so we're just going to Hollowed Fountain it. And draw a land. Sort of Feasted Famine. Like, no, again, nothing gives them haste, so I feel okay with just playing Batter Skull here. Especially when next turn we can go Sort of Feast and Famine equip untap. I mean, that seems just fine to me. And worst case scenario, we jump block. Like... Teferi back on four so we can still bounce the thing. I think we're just way ahead right now. I think we're... I think we're... I think our... <laughs> wow, our deck is sweet. It really is. It really is. I think we already won. I don't think... I don't think our opponent even has a chance right now. I feel bad for him, son, but... They got nine. Yep, that's the end. All right. <laughs> got him. Dude, like, I almost want another sword in the deck. I know that sounds terrible. I almost think Cryptic Command might be too expensive. I can't zoom in. All right, hold on. I got I to gotta restart Magic Online here because that's not okay. Zooming in is... Oh, now I can zoom in. All right. Oh, that's, that's not on. Boom, boom. Okay. Can we put Skull Clamp and or Umazawa's Jitte in the deck? Is that a thing we can do? I literally have Nick Noak. The only complaint I have is the two field of ruin because I feel like we do have a lot of uh, heavy mana requirements. Like you can't cast Esper Charm on three. It's very unlikely to cast a Cryptic Command on four if you hit the field of ruin. Um, okay, let me just close this other instance and I'll also close this match swap those out for the new we can't because Esper is not one of the Trilands unfortunately um, return to the game yeah let's remember this remember this moment oh that just did the thing alright so um I actually haven't faced that much Tron I don't know how much Tron is in a part of the metagame right now but we do have Esper trying to make them discard, and we also have five 
Inquisition slash Thoughts these effects. Esper is not a trial. I know because the the shards were not printed in this set. All the wedge, not the wedges. Um, I guess they're the wedges. The cons, the cons wedges were. So you have Mardu, Jeskai, uh, Sultai. I feel like it shouldn't take me this long. Teamer, and hold on, don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me, don't tell me. Abzan. So you have those, and you also have their ultimatums as well. Yeah. God, I said, don't tell me, Mossy Beard. Gah. Unbelievable. I still want, I'm going to cut one. I'm going to cut one because I think it's it feels correct. I also really love Glacial Fortress and Drown Catacombs in Modern. I think they're very, very good. Um, Polluted Delta Water Graves. Godless Shrines. Let us cast these on one. Two Colonnades is great. Um, I think we're just going to play one more Glacial Fortress. You can field turn three and wish for surgical turn four. That's actually not bad. Cycle land? What does that mean? What are you saying right now? I don't care what the spoilers just your posts. I hate standard. I look at these spoilers for other. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, but the duels of cycling all come into play tapped, and I don't think I think we'd rather just have mana at that point. Like I don't feel like this is a situation where we're like, darn it, we have too many lands, you know. You guys know when those stimulus checks are getting here? I'm looking forward to being stimulated. They are fetchable, that's true. But at that point, like I'd rather just I'd rather just play like Hollowed Fountain and stuff. I think having your lands come into play untapped is very, very important. I assume never. That check is the rest of my Jun deck. Oh man, us magic players. Um Yeah, this is great because Serum Visions. So we can easily set up future lands, and then we have Snap into I feel like if you're playing a three-color deck in Modern, like, having one try land is definitely just the way to go. Field of Ruin, um, Delta and Colony, I think we just keep all of these. I mean, we're gonna likely shuffle the... Actually, we could play... No, we can't. We don't have Serum Vision anymore. I think it's fine. We'll just play Delta. Also, Schmurkane, if you're still watching uh, and you want to have me take a look at your deck, definitely just send me an email at frank at Um, You can also find the email address down below in the profile, so check those out and we can we can chat about it. Um, we're definitely thought seizing here because we're not we're not savages. Get a watery grave because we have another planes in hand. Go to thirteen. <laughs> God, magic lord, double lord of Atlantis, and like five lands. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Looking bad, my dude. Looking bad. Oh, I am. <laughs> All right, sweet. Cool, cool, cool. Do you guys remember that time our opponent cracked their fetch lane when they were at one life? And they were just like, I don't want to live on this planet anymore? Oh, Silver Galadept is what you draw. Okay. So you played Island. So this is like, this is the five we know about. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we just go to 11 here and... Yeah, see, this is my concern. It's out of blue. Lash Rise Stoneforge? That sounds pretty sweet. I like modern decks with Stoneforge in them. I feel like it's still untapped potential right now. You know what? Sometimes you want to go to 11, I guess. Alright, so your hand is 5 lands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Everything above island. Or below island, rather. Yeah, so fingers crossed we hit a blue land. Or they don't hit a creature, I guess. 
Oh, Finny, I literally still have this clip up right now. Really good plans, plan yeah. X. Been all the way through the other plans, all the way down to X. Yeah. Man, Shonda, I'm oh, crack it. Crack it. Please. What? Oh my. oh my god, that's that clip is bonkers, dude. What they play? They played an island, so we can get rid of island. Oh, B skull. I kind of like killing this. I mean, we're definitely gonna do that. But we can wait. Yeah, so if they want to activate that on their turn, we'll field of ruin get another blue source. Waterlogged Grove. Master of Huevos. Silver Galad up to hitting What it is a master What the f come on, really? <sighs> That's annoying. But whatever. We know four other five. Sure. Oh, interesting. <sighs> hmm. Yeah, we can just drown and unlock their master of waves. Take two. We can also just cryptic command it. Oh, battery's fifteen. Better charge it before we make a make a mistake. Make a terrible mistake. It is a good clip. Affinity, dude, you are... I'm gonna... I don't know why you're not a mod yet. I feel like you're way too... Way too valuable for this channel not to be a mod right now. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, Affinity, you've been a sub for 62 months. Like, you never... You never post it. I had no fucking idea you've been a sub for 62 months, dude. That's insane. Because you never, like, it's never like you never have your sub anniversary and post it and be like, hey, look, hey, thanks for the, you know, with the resub or whatever. And you also literally don't say anything in chat up until you're like, here's this clip that, you, that you'll probably want one day. I haven't even been alive for that many. That's wild. I'm tempted to just drown the lock here. They didn't play anything. Snap doesn't do anything here. I can maybe just Esper Charm draw two. I like that. Let's just keep all our things up. Time me out as a test of your power. <laughs> oh, jeez. Well, Inquisition's interesting. Because they don't have second black. <sighs> Biscuit. We could literally just watery grave and batter skull here. I kind of like waiting for that though, because like we want to just play around. Like if they drew counter spell, like even if they drew spell pierce, it's very good. We can also untap snapcaster target esper charm block, and uh, yeah, there's an esper charm. Affinity times out the Zegas for 600 seconds. Oh god, what have I done? I've made I've made a terrible mistake. I don't like calling it here just because like they don't have to do anything. They can just keep pressuring us with Silver Gal Adapt. Whereas if we play Water Grave, we get a blocker and we get to Esper Charm. We can also go Inquisition and uh, check their hand for counter spells and then play Batter Skull next turn. Keeping up, still keeping up Cryptic Command. Um, we would go to three, but like we know their hand is pretty much junk in a Master of Waves. I do like Snap plus Charm, but like we don't need more cards is the problem. 
We'd have one, two, three, four, five. We'll go up to seven cards, eight cards when we draw. Um, yeah, all right. I'm, I'm game. Risk it for the biscuit, right? I've already misused this power, and it's sweet. Affinity, I'm glad you're here, buddy. I've always been grateful for your input. Your clip, your clip, clip put. I think you missed some bits for me earlier, but this next week... Rylos, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. I think I did. Rylos, thank you for the double bits, man. I really appreciate it, dude. This deck was actually submitted by Justice. So if you guys want to have... If you guys want to have you play your decks on stream and, like, throw some YouTube videos... Oh, wow. What a wild ride. I wish I had one more land now. I've misused... Yeah, I knew they were coming soon. I was actually surprised how soon they were actually going to get out there. You know they have this is her this is four of their cards I believe I don't know if we've kept up with their their islands. Tap dudes and draw doesn't do anything about the problem on board. We want to start getting these guys off the board in our five life is is that's my big concern. See right now I wish we just inquisition them, but they would play this in response and have nothing. I think. Yeah. All right, you can have that guy. We're not going to counter it. One more land would be just fantastic right here. Hey, I don't come here for no reason for this long. The stream is sweet and entertaining. Plus, I know almost all the memes. Like, that's true. That's true. Okay, this guy's gonna... This guy's... Now we're gonna counter and tap the board. Counter target spell and tap the creatures. Wish I played Inquisition last turn. Oh, this is not... Uh, Nope, still blue and blue. I mean, if they have Spell Pierce, it's really bad, but... I don't think they do. They play another Waterlogged Grove. So I think it's Island Island and Merfolk. Island Island. Your boy. So now we get to go... Yeah, I think we're just playing Batter Skull here. Lock Snap Lock is good too. I just think this is going to be fine. And if they do play Master of Waves, we can kill it with the lock. I do want to keep up. Because, like, they don't have Lethal on board. And if they have Mirror Regery, they can't play Mirror Regery and something else with their hand. As far as I know. And if they Merfolk tricks through this, that's that's fine too. Because like, as long as we get an attack with this guy, that's what I'm really... Yep, that's what we were thinking. So, I think their hand is Island and two other cards. Spreading Seas Colony. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, this is just fine. What is this? Destroy a creature with Firming Accounts less or equal to the number of cards in their graveyard. That'll do, pig. Insta kill this this jabroni. Um, black blue. Drown in the lock, and you're to blame. Go to the trash can, master of waves. And now we go back up to nine. Still got snap lock. We can also inquisition here as well, which we probably will do now that we have. You give locks a bad name. We still got a... Oh, a second Master of Waves. Seems good. 
Uh, we're definitely getting a swamp here, so. Oh yeah, we're doing it. So your hand is Island, Island, Master, whatever you drew this turn. Okay. Good lord, man. Oh, there's no swamps in the main? Unbelievable. Get it together, Rob. Get it together. <laughs> Why would you lie about that? It's right here. Oh my god. This is this is an emotionally draining experience. Yeah, I guess you get that. That's fine. Yep. So now it's still Island Master, whatever you draw. Silver Gill Adept. Dismember? That's pretty rough. No, don't like that. Wow, these draws have been friggin' amazing. Hossmania, this is actually a different Rob. This is this is Justice. Um Good lord. Um I actually don't hate this. Like we'll take six. But like then we get to go Snapcaster and equip it, so I guess that's fine. Really? That's weird. Let's go get a swamp here. I'm pretty sure we just drown here, right? Because we want to get the Snapcaster on board. We have no pressure whatsoever if we don't, so. And then we'll take two, equip, and attack for a billion. And Master Waves is obnoxious, but like Snapcaster is pretty good. This dude's got this dude's thick. I always forget Batter Skull can attach to anything. It's a less, a less definitely the lesser mode. All right, so I'm gonna assume you just have Master Waves that we know about. Jeeves, congrats on the diploma. Oh, this this is pretty bad. So now we take six, and Master of Waves is. Yep. These draws have been amazing. Like, their hand is actually terrible. Five lands, two Lord of Atlantis. Wait, they're not playing Master Waves here? Well, that's fascinating. Let's get a Goblet Shrine. They can't play at instant speed, right? I'm not, like, going crazy, right? Do they have Cryptic Command Master Waves? Those are your two cards? Okay. Resolves. Just play it and equip. Gain eight. I thought they played Master, tap this guy down, and then attack for six. I guess then we do get to go back, but, like, that doesn't seem right. This is where they have Dismember? If they had Dismember, they could have killed it too and then attacked. So I don't know what they have here. Fucking Christ. That's annoying. So I guess we're dead. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean... Three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Sure. I guess we have a blocker, but they're just going to tap them both down, so. Wow. This is an amazing series of draws from our opponent. Yep. Cool. Jesus. Draw th three Silver Galadops, double Master of Waves. 
Yep, seems good. Um, I mean, what can you do? Uh, meanwhile, I don't think we hit a single Fatal Pusher Path to Exile in that entire game. <laughs> yep. I want to take out the Esper Charms here. Um, take out the... I'm going to take out one Teferi. I think Teferi is a little too slow for this matchup, actually. I'll bring in this. I'll bring in the Collective Brutalities, just because they kill Merfolk. I think Explosives is good, too. I'll bring in this. Like, we just want to have... Yeah, we just want to we just want to have a, a a solid concentration of answers for these creatures. It's real tempting. I don't think we can keep it, though. This is a keeper. Uh, Mystical Dispute would have been fine, actually. I'm going to actually ship the Serum Visions. I think it's just worse than the other cards. Like, Double Fatal Push and Stoneforge Mystic seem great here. Uh, I think we're going to get a Watery Grave because that fulfills all three blue. Oh, now I want to do that. We're definitely not doing that, though. Really? Relic of Progenitus? Solely for... Solely for Snapcaster? That's interesting. Oh, yeah, I guess Drown, too. That makes sense. I feel you. Dismember. No second land, but a dismember. Fascinating. Spreading seas, spreading seas, spreading seas. Silvergill adept. Other dismember. Let's take away your silvergill adept, I guess. I guess we're finger, cr fingers crossed they don't have to land so we can go Snapcaster into Inquisition. Let's get Delta out of here. I guess we could also draw another Black Source. Doesn't look like they hit a land. Oh, wow. That was wild. Oh, Drown in the Lock seems interesting. So the problem is, if we Snapcast... Why didn't they... I would have cracked the Relic there. Interesting. Inquisition is just going to hit a spreading seas anyway. I guess we're just passing with lockup. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, we just win the game. I guess we don't have to do anything. I don't want they don't, don't want to crack. You can't just crack this and just try to hit a land. Like that's weird. That's a weird decision. Yeah, mystical dispute was definitely an oversight on my part. Um, take out a Fey. I think that seems fine. What a weird match. They should make cards loosely based off Pokemon cards. Pikachu could be Electric Rat. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And then they could have alternate art. Oh, come on, really? This is how it's going to be? Go to five? Sure. Um, Get rid of Field and... F oh, no, cancel. Oh, man, I'm really glad that it's... Uh, Field and Fey. Done. All right, we're on the draw. We can do it. What up, Placid Laughter? Benthic Biomancer. What is this, pumped up kicks that I have stuck in my head? All the other kids are not pumped up kicks. Let's creep it up. Man, a fetch land for like a hollowed fountain would be great here because then we get to play both Serum Visions and keep up Mystical Dispute. And then our Drowned Catacomb comes into play untapped so we can go snap Mystical Dispute. All we want here. Yep, there's your boy. Maybe I'll just get a Goblet Shrine instead. Well, that's not what we that's not what we're looking for here. I feel like I do not have the luxury to serum visions here when we get to keep up mystical dispute instead. Especially if they want to go second Lord of Atlantis. Yep, that is basically a second Lord of Atlantis. Did you remember that? Pikachu 1R, tap shocks any target. That's Yeah, that's pretty good. A creature with two mana tap shock is shock a target. Can we hit a land here? That's the question. Oh boy. Can we hit a land? Can we hit a land? Oh god. One time, one time, one time. Nope. Didn't didn't have it. Didn't have it. Put it on top. Visions again. Bottom both of these. Doesn't matter. Let me grab this guy. Get a land. We'll just go to planes here because we're not maniacs. And kill this guy. Not going to do anything in their turn because I don't really want them to untap and have a counter spell. So. Alright. This could be a master. That's a Marrow Regery. Another Biomancer, huh? Okay. Yep, now they can adapt. That's pretty good. Go to 10. 
Snorlax to be Lazy Bear, you would have to exert it to attack. Oh, man. I mean, hey, Wizards of the Coast and Nintendo are both in Seattle. We can make it happen. Oh, I like a drown in the lock here. I kind of like Collective Brutality Kill This Guy Game 2. I mean, if we could just kill their lords, if we can hit one more land, we get Snapcaster into Drown. If we don't, we still have Snapcaster in a path. Kerwood, have a good night, buddy. I appreciate you, man. But enters tapped and doesn't untap. Yeah, it's like it's like a 7-7 seven, seven for 3, but then it just doesn't untap. And what if it doesn't untap ever? That's the Snorlax flavor, right? That's that Snorlax flavor. That's my 1950s ad campaign. Oh, I see. Joke's on you, buddy. I don't even need that plans right now. Come on. I want to land off the tops because our snapcast... Actually, we can snap Serum Vision's worst case scenario. Oh, Fatal Push seems good. Oh, we get to Fatal Push and keep up Drown here? That's pretty nice. I mean, they're going to crack Waterlog Grove for sure. I don't think the deck has any counter spells. Like, we haven't seen any counter spells. They didn't crack Waterlog Grove. I are surprised. Oh, we have three removal spells, so. Yep, coming in with that guy. Coming in hot. Yep, let them tap all their nerds. Oh, good night. Sweet prince. Oh, you got some costs to pay? <laughs> Deprive. Sure. You got it. Wild. Just wild. I mean, if they can counter snap here then then they got it okay hope they don't have it do 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 let's see if you've got it and do you always have it yes they do Congrats on always having it every time. Our only our only chance is like if our opponent doesn't have have lands. Like that's the way we win games. Um and then they have to concede. So if that happens, then we got it. Hmm. I wonder if Sword of Fusion Fam is the best sword. It probably is, right? 
Yeah, it's definitely got to be. I'm thinking too much cube. I'm like, but cube. Too much of the force snapcaster Rafea wishes with all these all these one drops. Fire and Ice is great. Fire and Ice is probably one of my favorite swords. I feel like we want a fourth snap over a third Fey. I think just snap does more in this deck. Shaving a Serum Vision seems good. Double Deprive, man. Come on. <laughs> Lost to Benthic Biomancer. I mean, we could have just done it on our turn, right? But, like... I almost want one more Drown in the Lock. I think Drown in the Lock is pretty good. Especially in Modern. I mean, I think as long as we can hit four lands. Is it wrong to, like, opt more than Serum Visions? No, not really. I would actually... You know what? I'm actually... I kind of, like, opt more than Serum Visions. It's instant, so you can, like, end of turn snap opt. I think opt might be better than Serum Visions. No bitter blossom? Um no, but that's an interesting inclusion. I was gonna go to the bathroom after that round, I forgot. I'll keep this hand and just just pray we don't hit a thing. We can get a hollowed fountain here, I think. I think I like just playing watery grave, because watery grave into planes gets us all the colors we need, whereas like if we get a hollowed fountain here, we don't have black until we take two. And uh, we don't have it on turn two without taking two. Oh, it is the time. I would like to share this old clip. Oh man, let's see what this donuts clip is. Well, I didn't. I I top the PT because it wasn't a Magic Online PT where I had to actually hold a button to retain priority. I could just easily communicate that to my opponent. Oh, excuse me, I'd like to retain Not in real life, you'd be like, I'd like to donuts, continue. <laughs> and then I just I spill a bunch of food all over myself. <laughs> I'd like to, uh, donuts, continue. Oh, Lingering Souls actually seems better than uh, Bitter Blossom. This is a good question. I don't know what the, what the pick is here. Um, see, one of the best, one of my favorite parts about um, critiquing decks that people send in is is because like it's very hard to like consider every single card in modern so like having like chat input is actually pretty valuable and I also I, like I appreciate that as like a feature of, of the service um God, I kind of want batter a sword of feast and famine because like it just lets us crack in I think it's actually just stronger than batter skull here because if we can make them start discarding their cards I mean like we can also just play stoneforge next turn but Okay, they played an island? Oh, interesting. This is all very interesting. So now we can play second stone forge, get batter skull, play a second la a third land. I think a condescend. That's really condescending. Should we have played around condescend? I want to play colonnade this turn, so I don't know. Yep, that's what I figured. A Teemo deck? <laughs> Is that a League of Legends reference? Whatever, we'll get in there. I mean, I want to keep up Cryptic Command for next turn. But, like, if we had the second Stoneforge, we can put the sword into play with one, equip the other, attack, and then untap all our lands and stuff Cryptic. That was the that was the goal. Um, my keyboard doesn't like me. That's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I mean, right now we're just playing this. Passing. If they don't do anything, we'll sort of feast and famine. If they do do something, we'll... Doo doo. He said doo doo. What are you gonna thirst? I mean if they thirst I'm very I'm very 
repeal. Um, I don't think we have the mana for repeal. I think I'd rather just kill the creature. <laughs> I'd rather just fatal push or drown on the lock, whatever they whatever we'd want to repeal. You know what? That's fine. I'll replay it. We'll get the batter skull. We're doing alright. Probably watery grave. We already have a hollowed fountain in hand. It's monostoneforge.deck over here. Uh, thirst for the spagooter. I don't even know what that means. Yeah, this is not. This does not uh, spark joy. If we just had Thoughtseize or, or Inquisition, maybe we just want one more Thoughtseize in the deck. Do we have three Thoughtseize to Inquisition or the other way? Yeah, I'm definitely a fan of adding one more Thoughtseize instead of Drown. Yeah, I like that better. I think we just want six. Like, just, there's so many things. Man, if only we had more Field of Ruins in the deck, you know? Like, wouldn't that be great? I think we're just playing land and passing. Having no creatures in play to equip this to is really bad, though. But then also, like, we just take our shields down, so. So weird, right? It's wild. It's totally wild. Yeah, we're just going to keep up Cryptic Command. And hope they just don't hit mine. Mine? Liking Whiteboarder than Modern Warrior? Yeah, you're a wild, you're an absolute maniac. The Godless Shrine. We're just gonna get a nice mix of lands here. We're just gonna get a nice mix of lands. This fatal should this fatal push is pretty Oh come on. Two stone forge, we're gonna draw a batter skull. Give me Give me strength. Ugh. Cryptic seems really awkward. Why? That's weird. I mean there's two cryptics. It's just such a catch all, like tap their team down, bounce one of their permanents, like it just does everything. I mean, you're never gonna you're never gonna catch me like Talking bad about cryptic. Oh, they're gonna counter this, and they don't even know that we. I feel like they have condescend right now. Hmm. I'm gonna let you finish. I agree, it feels too good not to play. Like, I don't think it hurts. I don't think too cryptic command really, like, is any sort of detriment to the deck. You ever cast a cryptic command? It's like butter. It's true. It's true. You think they're going to discard an artifact or two cards? I don't know, it's hard to say. It was an artifact. Okay, so this is going to resolve is what you're saying? And I'm not going to be able to search for anything, which is the saddest part of my day when I... Oh, I hate stone forging with no, with no targets. It's like my least favorite thing ever. More like expedition crap, am I right? Got him. Fascinating. No, I don't think you're right. Dang. We tried. Yeah, that's fine. I don't have like I don't have like a dissolve. Is it dis disallow? <coughs> so I can't necessarily counter your. 
thing. All right, Ergus is mine. Okay. Okay. I actually don't mind cutting a stone forge. Like, that is one of my biggest pet peeves, is, like, having too few targets. But I also don't think you can have too many... Uh, you can't have too many targets. Not as in, like, it's impossible to have too many. But, like... You can't have too many targets. You can't put too many targets in, is what I'm saying. So I just want to bounce one of these and, like... One, two, three. Equip. No, we'll just keep it. We'll keep it up. Okay. Let's play this thing. See what happens. I have a condescend. I always have condescend. Remand? Wow. I think that's going to be game. We're going to concede here. We can no longer equip and uh, cast and equip. Um, yeah, that seems pretty bad. Uh, let's take Supreme Verdict out. Let's take bring Mystical Disputes in for sure. Uh, I, I actually like Ashiok here a lot. We'll take out... Take a fatal push for sure. Collective brutality seems better than path here. I feel like if we just drop a geist, it's pretty good, right? I'm gonna take a one stone forge. I'll bring in brutality, brutality. Pithing Needle on, like, Mind Slaver seems good. What do we name with Unmoored Ego? I don't actually know the whole configuration of this deck. How much do you give advice on a deck from an image after this match? I have no idea. That is not really, uh, it's not really a service I've priced out. <laughs> Yeah, I'm more to go with Mind Slaver is probably fine, but, like, I mean, I'm still scared of, like, Karn, Ugin, uh, Warm Coil Engine, so that's why I left the paths in. Oh, my God, these one-land hands. Oh, my God, these one-land hands. Okay. <laughs> ship you and ship a Watery Grave, I guess. Done. Not ideal. The only thing we can play on turn one is like expedition maps. I'm not really super concerned with hitting them on turn one. Of course, that's what they do. Thirst, Relic, Mystical Dispute, Condescend. Wow. They have no blue mana. I think Mystical Dispute is just better than Condescend, so I guess we'll take that. Oh, man. That's very good. Here comes Power Plant into... Yep. God, can't you just get your lands to match? You have no self-respect. Drown in the Lock is interesting. It's not going to do anything, unfortunately. What a world we live in. You ain't kidding. You ain't kidding. So, you know, I mean, they have to actually draw their their big fat fats, though, so I guess that's a thing. They also don't have blue mana now. 
Oh, now they do. Okay, okay. Okay, so we know like five of the cards in their hand. We're definitely, it's like we're definitely cryptic commanding their thirst if they thirst us. Or, you know, thirst themselves. Yep, there's the tower. So these are the four cards we know about. Um. Yeah, that's fine. I found all your lands from the cube drafts. Where are they? Is this is this the five of them right here? Oh, Stoneforge is interesting. I don't feel safe taking Cryptic Command down, especially when they can condescend it for uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, for five. Also, Cryptic Command seems pretty bad. All they have to do is condescend for two right now for three mana. Yeah, it's funny. I still don't think, like, Field of Ruin is, like, where you want to be. I also think we mulliganed five this game, so. I think I'm trapped in a fever dream. Send help. Guys, can someone help Hossmania in chat? What is this you're going to do? Pay into Field of Ruin, my black source. I don't, I don't actually know what that does, but... I guess you got a reason for it. I guess they got a second blue out of it. That seems good. Oh, that's good. It's not that great, actually. <laughs> that's like... I almost forgot that they have... Uh... So if we play Stoneforge Mystic here... They have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right? So we play Stoneforge. They condescend for four. We go to counter it. They still have three left. Okay, so they have exactly enough to... Uh... I guess we can then drown in the lock. None of these things sound great. Uh, counter target spell, draw a card. One, two, three, four. Okay, so you have one mana floating? Sure. Alright, well. Now is their time. Uh, we'll get rid of Watery Grave. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that seems fine. I assume we're going to take the four cards. I guess we could have put an island here, but I feel like then you just take it. You have not played a land yet. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. I feel like we're not necessarily in this game right now. Yep. What do they play? An island. Sounds good. It's in a three of their six cards. Uh, I will exile Cryptic Command, I guess. Stone Forge Mystic. Oh yeah, let's use the ability for sure. <sighs> just gonna pass here. Actually, maybe we just 
throw down a sword, right? Um, no, I guess they can counter it. They can just mystical dispute it. Let's not do that, I guess. Keep drowning the lockup. Drown in the lock. Are they going to remand this guy? Or not remand, uh, repeal. Wrong recard. Nope, they're not going to do that. Yeah, I feel like we want more things to equip is uh, really where I'm at right now with my... With my feeling on... Equipment. Okay, I do like Lingering Souls. I like Bitter bitter, bitter Blossom as well. Can we play Fallen Shinobi in this deck? That seems wild. That's Oh, we're trying that out next for sure. They have a lot of mana, but they're not doing anything with it, which is very strange to me. You're a madman? Yeah, but I want to, like... I feel like we're missing, like, small creatures that can get in there. Like, because we want to just... We're saving this guy because we have great value in the graveyard. This takes a few turns to get going. So if we can just, like, play a Lingering Souls or, like, a Bitter Blossom to just keep churning out guys while we free up our mana, I think that's where you want to be. Okay, just resolves. All right, I'm going to pass here. Uh, I'm not going to attack because I want to put something into play. One, two. Um, I don't think we're a Delver deck. Fuck, maybe we are. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. A third of the deck. Eh. I, I don't, I don't, eh, I don't know. Tanos with the resub. What up, my dude? <laughs> Subs like off. <laughs> what up, my dude? Always good to see you, buddy. Oh, God. Things are happening. Sundering Titan. Hmm. So they kill this plains, island, and swamp. Yep, I'm just going to scoop it here. This is that's a little hard to deal with, I'll be honest with you. Alright, so let's make some changes here. Take out the Stone Forge. Um, I think Geist should be... What is the Knowledge Pool for? It feels, it feels too cute. Is it, oh, because they can't cast the spell? Can you give a quick input on modern deck? Mainly need help on the cyber. Yeah, put it in the in the chat. I I, I don't want to copy and paste that. <laughs> I don't want to like find go find that donation of like. Yeah, link it here, and I'll take a gander at it. Oh my gosh! Look at this! Look at this cropping job you did, Schmurkane. I want you to look at this. Look at this! <laughs> look at this beautiful crop you did here with all this blank space on the bottom. Oh lord. Okay, this is the deck. We're just taking. We're taking a couple minutes out here just to take a gander. Uh, two Inquisition, four Thoughts, these three Fatal Push, four Stone Forge, four Gifts of the Other One, four Dusk Legion Zealot, four Murder Strider, two Sword of Feast, one Sword of Feast, one Fortifier. I'll. Oh, this seems sweet. Lingering Souls. You have lots of things to equip to. I like that. Oh, maybe we want one Urborg in this deck. See, this is what I mean. Like, this is just. That's just good. That's just good. Uh, solid input there. Um, 14 lands is a little low. No, okay, there's 24 lands. That's a little high. I think you probably go... F eh. I mean, Dust Legion Zealot hits lands. I might cut one Lash Ride. Maybe? I think it looks... I think it looks good, though. I'd probably put, like... Take one land out, one Lash Ride out for, for like, two paths. Because you actually don't have a ton of... Well, you have Murderous Rider, but, like... I don't know. Path is just very, very good. I don't know, this looks sweet. This 
Sideboard, Fatal Push, 3 Duress, 4, four Nihil Spellbomb. Uh, there's 2 Path there, 2 Disenchant, 2 Anguish and making 1 Pithing Needle. Um, do you want some number of Rest in Peace? Probably. I, the Rest in Peace just might be better than Nihil Spellbomb. Like, I don't like having to keep up mana, but I guess you don't necessarily need to. Um, and Stony Silence is not, obviously not great against you, or for you, because, you know, you have art, lots of artifacts you want to be equipping. Um, uh, as a two-color deck, I definitely think you do want ways to deal with lands, though. I mean, for the same problem we just had with Tron. Um, because like you just if they play if they have Tron, you have really no way to disrupt other than Thoughtseize. So I would definitely add like probably to uh, Field of Ruin. Yeah, this deck seems sweet. I like this deck. This is the kind of deck I'd love to play because it has a lot of powerful cards like Stoneforge, Batterskull, Murderous Rider, you know, all of the, the the sweet one drops. But then it has like really cute cards that that just get you advantage, like Lingering Souls, Dusk, Dusk Legion Zealot, and like Lash Rise is a nice little a nice little tech uh, a nice little tech card. Okay, so I think we're gonna board the Supreme Verdict here. We're gonna board uh, the Geist of Saint Traft. And we're going to go... So the question is, Lingering Souls or Bitter Blossom? Hmm. I'm definitely going to Fallen Shinobi here. We're definitely playing two Fallen Shinobis. The problem is some number... Let's take out the ops in general. What about two and two? I do like... Oh, let's play one more. What if we play one more Bitter Blossom? So we can just rely on Bitter Blossom. Also, Fae of Wishes with Fallen Shinobi just lets you really... Do you really need Snap? I mean, like... Yeah, Snap is also great to get back with Fallen Shin Shinobi. <coughs> uh, so is Stoneforge Mystic. What about Remand? I don't think we have room for Remand. Um, I'd rather play Drown than Remand. I think. God, I don't even know. Ninja the Deep Hours instead? Not really. That's a 2-2. Esper Charm hits Dryad. Uh, Dryad of the Elysian Grove. Is that what you're referring to? Thank you, Dalkry. What's going on, my dude? Welcome back. Twenty six months, man. Um, yeah, one more slot here. I kind of just want one opt. Yeah, but I think the I think the upside of Fallen Shinobi is significantly higher than Ninja of the Deep Hours because they're both ninjas. Uh, I don't think we want three Bitter Blossoms. I think we can do two and two. I think is that okay, is that okay? Like twenty three lands is a lot too. I see the last the last game because people can just board in like relics and they're actually very good against um like drown. So I don't love it. I wanna say Kai as a guile out, I think. I think this this card like has it just doesn't impress it don't impress me much. It don't impress me. Because we also have surgical and we still have um Unmored Ego. Um I like Noxious and Celestial Purge. I like Ashiok a lot. Just pinning needle. Yeah, let's try it like this. Let's see what we can come up with here. 
Oh yeah, let's go. I guess we can go to one. Ah, fuck. Well, two Supremes is really nice though. All right, we'll put in the one. Yeah, that's fine. We can put in one Supreme instead of the the second Supreme. Oh man, what is this clip? Hey buddy, you like Ashiok? If you come over here this alley, I got plenty of Ashiok for you. <laughs> Only hey, cost you three nickels. Three nickels? Oh, shoulders, wow. Man, Mike loves Mike loves pricing things out in nickels. Hey, How many Ashiok. nickels does this thing cost? Ashiok. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. My daddy said to never talk to strangers. Your daddy's a little bitch. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's a funny, that's a funny clip. <laughs> Oh man. God, look how much look at that haircut though. This is like I look like a disheveled hobo. Oh jeez Morty. Oh listen. Listen, Morty. Oh, we're playing against Bone Harvester. These one land hands. There's 23 lands in the deck. Like, we really just shouldn't have this many one land hands. Oh, we can. Oh, I love putting sword back when we have Stoneforge in hand. Uh, the deck could play Ashiok, but like it's contradictory with Drown, and it just doesn't. The problem I have with Ashiok, which is a card I absolutely love, and you guys know this, is that he just doesn't do a lot in modern. Bone Harv. <laughs> really? Is this the same opponent as the last round? No, we're just playing double mono, double Trons. Come on, Tronny boy. Come on, give me one of the six discards. But oh, Teffrey, that ain't what that ain't what we're looking for. That don't impress me much. I guess we're just playing this guy and then hoping they don't Tron us to death because we have no... There's nothing else we can do. Add <laughs> command to Ashiok. Oh man, Affinity can make all his clips commands now? This is a lot of power. Oh wow. But this is this is using your power for good. Oh look, they look guys they hit Tron. Is it a Karn? It's a Thought Knot Seer. I'm gonna get out of here. I use my power to make this. Turtles. <laughs> oh. But that's good. That's a solid use of your power as well. All of your powers are being used responsibly. I mean what they take? Sword of Feast and Famine. Well, this is wild. Chalice on one. All right, let me hit a land so I can just bounce this stupid thought knots here. That'd be, that'd be pretty bonkers, right? That's actually pretty cool because now we can just be like sneak it in, and then they're gonna be like, oh dang, and then I'll be like block, and then they're gonna be like, oh no, and then I'll be like draw a card. But you know, that's. If things go right, you know? Things gotta go well. So my biggest my biggest problem when doing deck critiques like this, right? Uh, activated abilities of artifacts your opponent's control can't be activated. Okay. My biggest problem with doing stuff like this is like, I see cards like Esper Charm and Fae of Wishes that I really like, and I know that these are the cards we're trying out, but like, I feel like they're the cards I'm gonna wanna cut. Um, after testing, that is. Because, like, if we're looking at Fae, which is, like, I feel like, again, it's a sa like, it is the same thing with Mastermind's Inquisition that we, that we felt last time when we were playing the, uh, Infinity Gauntlet deck, is that you just don't have the time to cast it, right? Like, if you get to land a Teferi and then you get to 4 mana, like, usually you want to be more proactive in Modern than, like, 
Because if, if your opponent's doing something on their turn four, and you're just letting it happen so you can fade, which is like, usually it's not... It's not like where you want to be, but also like you have to have Tefri for that to work. Liquid Metal Coating, huh? Huh. That seems good. That seems just, just fantastic. Oh, you're not gonna, you're not really, you're not gonna attack. That's wild. That's wild. That's just, I, I'm just so surprised. You just put me on drawing batter skull there. That's weird. I guess you're trying to protect your Karn. I don't know, man. I mean, if we draw a land, we can bounce Thought Knots here and then attack Tefer, attack. Uh, I guess they they could shut off our one of our lands, so that's not really gonna. That's not good. Magic's hard, man. Yeah, I'll turn off one of your lands during your upkeep so that you don't have access to the mana that you need to play the magic game by the Magic of the Gathering. Well, okay, I guess. Yep, seems good. Land? No land. But it's your boy. You want to trade? Cast him, cast him as a man. <laughs> Alright, well we got a card. Maybe it's a land. Maybe it's a land. It is a land. Would you look at that? God dang. Boy, if only I could bounce my batter skull, you know? If only I had a way to get rid of Karn. Man, Karn is a cool, fair and balanced magic card that really shuts off an entire card type. Fallen Bobby showing up on time. That's I hit the wrong one, and I hit the right one. What? It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for him. Yeah, okay. I don't know what I was going to do against this, but... 12 mana, huh? Well, alright. I'll get a Wastes. Uh, what do we got? Blue. Let's get a blue, I guess. I mean, they have 13 mana. Creature, artifact, land. So it could just be the big... It could be Emrakul, the promised end, I guess. Oh, they're just going to choose. They're just going to get my sync, Mica Synth Lattice. No, that card is banned, right? They they banned Mica Synth Lattice, right? Sovereign? Sky Sovereign? Most everything that's happening is so weird right now. Second Karn. Seems good. Yeah, like this fan wishes like we're just never gonna have four to cat to, to to flip it, you know? <coughs> we're never gonna be able to send it on an adventure. <laughs> Affinity, I should have made you a mod like months ago, dude. Oh my god. Having all of these as, as commands is just... Just golden. What do you name here? Teferi? Of course you name Teferi. Yeah, let's just go to the next game. Hey, there's a Thoughtseize. Alright, Fatal Push can come out. Path to Exiles can all come out. Uh, Ashiok. Can't search their library, but like I mean, it's still better than... Uh, actually, they have, they have stupid friggin' Thought Knots here, though. 
<laughs> anything. Nope, not yet. Not yet. He didn't get to that one yet. Um, oh God. I do actually. Now, if he doesn't kill our Kijigijigi. <laughs> Kijigijigi. That's so much better than Kijikijiki. Kijigijigi. <laughs> Kill our Gigi Gigi. Gigi Gigi. It sounds like Gigi Gigi Gigi. Yeah, if you have Teferi out and Knowledge Pool, they can never cast their spells because, you know, sorcery speed. Um, I guess Pithing Needle for Karn? I mean, Unmored Ego for Karn also seems good. Take out a Fae. Uh, Mythical Bazaar. Yeah, this seems fine. Yeah, Geist isn't bad either. I don't want to take out all the phase, though. I think I one Drown in the Lock. I just don't feel like we're actually going to... Like, we're not going to... They don't have a bunch of cards that go to the graveyard, so... Oh my god, these... Why can't we just draw hands with lands in them? I don't think I'm asking for too much. Okay. Um, so, so let's get rid of Colonnade, unfortunately. <laughs> Glass pies. Oh, man, Affinity. This is gas, dude. All these clips I always wish I could find, dude. Now they're all here. I don't even know what this every day I'm so proud one is. Proud of what I accomplished. Do you, when you wake up in the morning, are you like, man, I'm really, I'm proud of what I accomplished to, yeah, the, the day before, or does it just, uh, every day? Every day what? Let's take Mindstone. Every day. <laughs> every day. Oh, I do like Damping Sphere. So, oh man, it's so funny because like... Rob, I feel like we lose valuable sideboard slots for the Fey package. And I really do think that 4 mana tutors in this... That's exciting. 4 mana tutors in this format are too slow. I really do. And I don't want to because I like the cards. But like, I think if we took out the Fey Wishes and we like actually customize the sideboard for, for decks that we wanted to, like we can have Double Supreme Verdict... Uh, damping spheres, things like that. I just think the deck is in a better position. But the Teferi log. <laughs> oh, come on. Jeez, you get two draws, man. You get to draw two cards to hit that. God. Come on. Breaking glass? Glass every night, boy. Why would you drink it every night? Powdered glass. You drink powdered glass every yeah. night? Yeah. The fuck is wrong with you? It's good for the sternum. The sternum? <laughs> oh, like, come on. Of course they hit. Like we're. I'm real excited about Fallen Shinobi because we get to finally cast that dude. And of course they hit. One thought, not seer. Jeez, man. <laughs> Oh man! Oh, this one bathroom one is hilarious. He's doing all day. Jeremy's like just smoking cigarettes all day. Smoking dude. in the boys' room. Is that what you did? You smoking in the boys' room? Yeah. Never in like the girls' room. Oh, there's really only the boys' room in prison. There's no. There's only one. There's. There's only. One. I think we're just yeah. This is we're just dead. Like this is brutal. Unless it's a fallen. Stoneforge. <laughs> a fallen Stoneforge. But they also have Sorcerer's Spyglass, so whatever we get with this, they just name with... I guess that doesn't... I guess that doesn't really matter. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to change this up and we're going to do one more after this. I'm going to go to the bathroom first, though.
Was it six mana? If they just play another Reality Smasher. God, that's amazing. God, I love when our opponents, like, are basic, are, are essentially just lottery winners, right? Like, Thought Not Seer every single turn you needed it. They just name they just snap name Flooded Strand because it's right here. I could name Tefri. Stoneforge Mystic. Sure, like you already took one of my two cards. <sighs> Hollow Fountain. Yep. Chump here. Go to two. Like there's no way we win this game. Like Double Bitter Blossom's actually just gonna murder us. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Man. Man. What's happening right now? Okay. Okay. <sighs> okay. So... I'm going to take out the cards I like, but don't think are doing it. I think it's two phase, two Esper Charms. Um, I like Drought on the Lock, but in this list, I almost like Remand better. Maybe we'll see if Remand is any better. Okay. We got six of these guys. All right. Let's, let's go crazy. Tron was a problem twice at least let's put three damping spheres also like so here's the thing about knowledge pool <laughs> i think i can count on one hand the number of times we actually had six mana which is an issue like six mana is a lot in this format um i think it's more of a tempo deck when we're just trying to like delay their things until we can get these guys online Right, that's my... Well, it's not needed, but I'm, I'm saying, like, even if the Fey was here, like, being able to go Tefri on three, Fey on four, get Knowledge Pool, go f fifth land, sixth land, Knowledge Pool, and have it, like, res I guess it would resolve if your Tefri's still alive. But, like, Modern is a really aggressive format. Um, Let's take out the Explosives for now. Take out the Pithing Needle for now. I do like Supreme Verdict. Noxious Grasp and Celestial Purge can probably go. They're a little too narrow. Unmoored Ego... Like, a lot of these one ofs are just for, like... Do we have things for graveyards? Um, if the Drown is gone, we don't really need them as much. I almost tempted to put, like, a third sword in here just because... <coughs> it's nice to search up. What do we got? Fire and Ice, Light and Shadow, Body and Mind, Feast and Famine... Are any of the new ones good? I think it's just fire and ice, right? Like, that gives us four four colors of protection. I can see Spellbomb. Yeah, I like Spellbomb. We also have Ashiok. I guess we do have Ashiok, though. I'm not sure if we... Hmm... I actually do like... Let's put Opt back in. Because now we have Bitter Blossom, Lingering Souls, Fallen Shinobi. We have another sword to hit. Yeah, I like this. I can also see adding one more Geist of St. Traft as well. Yeah, I think uh, we, like we have Mystical Dispute and Supreme Bird for the Merfolk matchup. Uh, for the Tron decks, we have Damping Sphere and like Geist of Saint Traft and stuff. Um, we also have six of these, which is great. Like the extra sword just makes our Lingering Souls, Stone Forge, Snapcaster, and Bitter Blossoms better. Schmerkin, have a good night, buddy. Thank you so much for hanging out, man. Really appreciate the support and. Uh, 
yeah if you definitely send over that last red deck i would i would definitely be interested in trying it out all right this is we're on we're on 60 15 right okay cool All right, come on, let's do it. Let's do it. Can probably cut one snap. Oh man, I hate that though. I mean, we have so many good spells for snap and also just being able to like, you took the soul out of my dude. So real talk, like that is one of the things I'm concerned about the most when I play people's decks. Like I try to keep the spirit intact, but then I also want to like, I want to see if it's possible. Like I want to see if the, the spirit of the deck is what's causing it, it to have issues. You know what I mean? Like, Dude, that's my biggest problem. Like, sometimes I'm like, well, I don't want to cut these cards, even though I think they are, you know, what might be causing the issue. <laughs> you know what, man? I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it, and I'm going to hope they don't have turn one Thoughtseize Inquisition. Because then, oh god, we're an embarrassment if that happens. But, if we just get to go Stoneforge into, into Thing... You know, that's like living the dream. Oh, they went to six. Basically, we can't lose. I wonder if Fires of Invention is a modern, like, worthy card. Like, you play it on four, you get, like... I guess you can't cryptic command, right? See, but you play on a four, you can place anything else. Like, what if you play like Fires Invention on four, then Masterminds Inquisition for free? Because <clears throat> that's like the first thing I think of when I. Okay, this is this is fine. Oh no, Atlanta Worlds. Simeon Spirit God. Simeon Spirit Guide. Time. Three fucking Simeon Spirit Guides. What in the? What is this? What up, Darkwing Duck? Oh my god. Three Simeon Spirit Guides for a Bloodbird Elf into a Utopia Sprawl? You know what? Sure. Alright, well. Let's get a Batter Skull. So all this has to do is survive. Three Simeon Spirit Guides for that. What a wild ride, guys. Look, we're already winning. Changes The changes made all the difference in the world, guys. Oh, we can play that and? Well, let's take a peek. See if you got, like, Ancient Grudge or... Oh, we'll just take the other... Why didn't you play the other Utopia Sprawl? You done messed up, A.A. Hey, Ron! It's fascinating. Interesting decision. Okay, so their hand was Mountain, so now we don't know anything. Was it Cinderglade? Where did the Cinderglade... Oh, Cinderglade was probably, uh... Alright, well... God, really hoping for a, a sword here. Either sword makes it impossible for them to block, so... That would be... Just... Oh, you would have fetched a basic, huh? Wow. Hmm. I'm going to opt now just to see what we hit. I like opt so much better already. Oh, fatal push, huh? Um, That's fine. I think that's fine. We can crack a fetch here. Well, to be fair, you don't lose instant speed interaction. You just lose interaction on their turn. So if they if they play a uh, if they play a spell on your turn, you can still counter it. I think. Molten rain. Some stay dry while others feel the pain. Molten rain. You got it. Let's 
get rid of this guy now. Crack this thing, we'll get uh, Water Grave here. Alright. I think we're winning, obviously, but... Oh, fuck. Oh. Crack another Delta here. One, two, three, four, five. No cards in hand? Yeah. I mean, to be fair, we kept a uh, six-land Stoneforge Mystic hand, so... I mean, I don't know if I would have went all in on triple Stoneforge... Triple Simeon Spirit God on turn one. I probably would have just went on turn two. But I think they were trying to hit a... Uh, obviously, a three-mana land destruction spell, which they probably have 16 of in the deck or something like... But... You, the Chocolate Raid ref, is going to make people think you're as old as... What are you saying right now? Oh, the Chocolate Rain reference. Gotcha. Hey, man. Listen. I I, I appreciate Tazon Day. Well. So this is actually a match I think Remand is good because, like, they go to play their three-mana spell, you just Remand it, and then you get the chance to use your mana again. If land is tapped for two or more mana, it produces... Yeah, Brutality's not bad. I mean, like, is Damping Stir worth it when they have Utopia Sprawls? I don't think so. Take a path out. I think Tefri might be bad here. Bring in Brutalities. Uh, Ashiok doesn't do... Well, it messes with Blood Braid and also shuts off their Utopia Sprawled lands. Alright, we'll submit like this. I mean, I guess we're just hoping we don't get blown out again. Um, yeah, this seems this seems good. I guess just don't have Triple Simeon Spirit Guide again. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, see, these are some plays here. Courser. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so they have no land destruction. Although, they have Firelit Thicket, so if they draw one... They did not draw one. Bitter Blossom into Shinobi one time. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. We're definitely fetching basics here. I don't feel like getting my ass blood mooned. I'm actually going to get a Plains here. Because let's just play Bitter Blossom now in Stoneforge next turn. Although, unfortunately, if they do play Blood Moon, we don't get to Fallen Shinobi unless we draw. Uh, uh, you know. Swamp Island, naturally. So we're kind of just hoping to avoid Blood Moon here. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, no, they didn't mean to tap. They're going to get double red. For sure. For sure double red. Yep. Oh, God. Oh, it never fails. I mean, we still have Stoneforge into play with whatever sword we get. Actually, that's not bad. Field of Rune is actually surprisingly good here. No, it's not. It's just a... It's just a thing. <laughs> Never mind. Let's get Stoneforge on online. Let's get a sword... Um, is it Feast and Famine? No, it's Fire and Ice for sure, right? Whew. 
Well, I want to keep Path of because they do have Inferno Titan. They can also just play Chandra. Yep, that's good. Yeah, they're probably going to play Chandra here. Kill our Stoneforge Mystic. And then next turn they can plus Chandra to Inferno Titan. Yep. So you know two of their cards. Well, one of their two cards, rather. Oh, oh okay. I was like, oh, wow, they're not going to do it. And they did it. But we do get to kill a Chandra, which is pretty great. So actually, we actually... Hmm. 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 Yeah, I'm pretty tempted to just kill their Arbor Elf in their main phase, and then we can... Because uh, then they can't play, but then they... The problem is Inferno Titan's coming down either way. But I think getting a hit off this and also being able to just block it forever is actually pretty decent. Oh, God. Because we're going to get to play Sword of Fire and Ice and equip it next turn and also play it. The problem with Inferno Titan coming down is they're going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 mana. So they can cast future Inferno Titans, whereas like if we kill this, they're only going to have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 mana. Which means they still need to hit an extra land. If we path the Titan, we can't equip anything. Well, we can equip the, the Sword the Fairy that comes into play, but I kind of want to start attacking with it. I think I'm actually going to kill the Arbor Elf. Like, I feel like that's just a... Because it gives us two turns. Like, they don't get to play Inferno Titan now. We get to equip. They get to play Inferno Titan. We get another attack. Because this is going to have pro red. So, I'm pretty sure, like... And it's also five damage a turn. comes Bloodbraid Elf. Chandra number two. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> Exile the top card. It is in a braid. Glad you did not have that. Yep, that's... Big thumbs up. Oh, wow. All right. Well, it's a good start. Uh, Chandra, your face. Uh, let's hit Chandra again. Creeping tar pit. No bueno. And move this over here. All right, we're just F6-ing the whole thing. And they're going to play Inferno Titan, probably shoot, shoot, shoot. We go to 9. We go to 8. They plus this. We go to 7. 6, rather. 1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, so we go to 6. Uh, 
Oh, another braid. Congratulations. Top deck Blood Moon, top deck of braid. Seems good. Oh, boy. Yeah, we're definitely going to path in over Fatal Push. Like, we still haven't hit a single Inquisition or Thought Season. We have six of them, so. Uh, this is Modern, not Cube, which is why the description says Modern and Modern Cube, Hardest of Core. Did we play Inquisition on turn one? Am I complaining about nothing? Probably. I mean, these Shinobis would be great if, like, our opponent didn't Blood Moon us. We probably did. What did we hit? You know what? I'll keep this. I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling I'm feeling lucky, guys. I'm feeling lucky. It's rough. This is a rough hand. I'm eleven one right now with a new modern Simic Euro deck. It's stupid fun to play in Infuriate and play against Yikes. That does sound good. Uh we'll start with Polluted Delta in case they wanna. Also, we have Swamp and uh, Island here, which is very nice. Okay, okay. Um, let's... Head towards Cryptic Command here. I mean, I'm hoping for Stomping Ground uh, plus Utopia Sprawl. Field of Ruin. Do it. Excellent. Here comes Simeon Spirit Guide. Yep. Blood Moon. Alright. Let's get an island. Inferno Titan, Blood Moon, a Braid. With nothing else. So we're basically just going to hard cast this Shinobi and go nuts, right? Yeah, I don't care about a second Blood Moon and the Abraid. You need a second Abraid. Plus, if you cast a Braid on Sword of Fire and Ice, it's just guaranteed that our fallen Shinobi is going to get in there. So they're hand blood moon braid. They're probably going to abrade this. Oh wow, ancient grudge. Okay, so you do have a braid. Well, I mean they can't actually. The thing is, like, they're going to get three mana this turn, so they can't actually. Oh no, what are we doing? F five, F five. Whoa, I did not think we went back to our hand that quickly. That was pretty much. That was pretty ridiculous. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so they only have two mana. So unless they draw like lightning bolt land, um, I, I don't think they. I don't think one of them is land. So we're probably just gonna win off hard cast fallen shinobi here. Okay. So now we know you have braid blood moon. If you have lightning bolt, I'd be very impressed. I don't think this deck has lightning bolts in it though.
Did you really top deck? Oh, okay. Interesting. Well, I'll take a gander. Utopia Sprawl. Let's get rid of the Abraid. And we didn't play a land. Hard cast. Oh boy, ninja time. That's right. Go ninja, go ninja, go. Let's see, we hit. Oh, we hit a blood braid elf. We got a forest and a blood braid elf. Oh, I don't want to remand the blood braid elf. That seems terrible. No, I'm good. <laughs> I'll just keep my Blood Braid Elf. <sighs> so we know they have Sprawl and Blood Moon in hand. And no green sources. Wait, are you that pro? <laughs> yeah, I, I might be. I might be. Blood Moon, number dose. Alright, can't do anything with that. A Braid and Field of Ruin. Okay, let's Field of Ruin. And let's not cast a Braid. Or anything else in our hand. God, Blood Moon's a real piece of work. This is, I mean, I do love having disenchants, uh, enchantment removal in the sideboards of, of decks. Yeah, I think Celestial Purge is probably a great choice. I agree with you. I don't think that's, that seems correct. All right. Well, we did, we did win that game. I mean, they got real stuck on land, but that's what that deck does. It just goes all in on their, on their things. Let's take out Surgical. We'll just bring in Purge times Dose. And we'll cut probably one Geist. Do we? I don't know if we need the Teferi that much. What if we just put one Geist back in the main deck for one Teferi? I kind of like that. <laughs> no, but I'm still making changes just because um, that's how we got to send things off. But like, yeah, I think I mean, I just like this style of deck where you're just like playing really, really good value creatures like Geist of St. Traft or Stoneforge or Snapcaster. And obviously this is like the best value creature that was ever printed. And that's, of course, that's hyper hyperbolic. But I still think it's super awesome, though. Uh, Ref is just real strong by himself, though. Who? Oh, Teferi? Yeah, I agree. But like, I mean, I don't know. Geist of St. Traft is just a cool card to have. Maybe it's just, maybe you just take one out and like I think it's either way. I think it's either three Teferi or two Teferi and one Geist. I think either way is fine. But but um yeah, Rob, thank you so much for letting me play this deck, man. I really appreciate you getting back to me and uh and still, you know, sending this my way. Um unfortunately, yeah, I do think I think Fave Wish is a little too slow in modern. Um for the same reason I think, you know, Mastermind's acquisition is is a little too slow cuz like you just don't have time to pay four mana because like you're lucky if you have four mana on turn four when your opponents are like kill your land kill your land attack for attack for eight on turn four you know or whatever and, and you, it's it's hard to like defend um paying four mana even if even if you get to do it at their their end step or, or whenever you know um and you're streaming to the one time extra dope good games man good games uh yeah when you in game one when you um Triple Simeon Spirit Guy for the Bloodbraid Elf and didn't hit a, a land destruction or a Blood Moon. Like, that was probably the end. But, um... Yeah, Rob, thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the support. If you guys want to have me take a look at your own decks, definitely check out my, my Twitch profile or my YouTube description down below. And, uh, you can definitely talk to me about that. You can email me at frank at franklapore.com. Check me out at manatraders.com. You get 20% off with the, the first three months with the link and promo code down below. Cool stuff, Inc. every Wednesday. Patreon.com slash franklapore. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it.